What's going on out there, YouTube? This is uh, Samuel Legg representing Team JVS. If you cannot tell the smile on my face after watching episode seven, Bruce Wayne of Titans, I mean, you just don't know me that well. Because <laughs> it was amazing. It was so good. And probably some of the best acting from Brenton Thwaites and, um, and Carl and Walton's, Walters. Like, for real. Like, I felt so bad for Jason. And I was like, Jason probably got some contacts that are like making him see this over and over again. Because I was like, it's just glazed all over his eyes. And it's like, it's deeper than just trauma. I still, I, I think, I hope, hopefully they give him a payoff for that in episode 8. But it was kind of just like, he's going through so much. And it was like... First, what's the name? Try to kind of get him shaken out of it. And then they started kind of a little flirting thing. And then I was kind of like, yo, what the heck? Slade Wilson's daughter is sitting there flirting with the second Robin. Like, what is happening? <laughs> like, I just had to question it in myself. I was like, yo, this is so out there. Then you have Starfire trying to help Connor. And it was kind of like, these are the things, these are the moments within comics that you look for. Because those are out of the ordinary, out of the norm, and just kind of like, are there. Now granted, um, his situation going on with, uh, with her, I'm talking about, um, not Connor, but uh, Jason, it definitely feels like a Tara and Beast Boy situation, for real, for real. They kind of just leave Beast Boy to the side, like, it, it kind of sucks for Ryan. Uh, they're not utilizing him as good as they could have. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. But Connor and uh, Starfire, like, it was, that was some epic stuff. And then Brenton Thwaites, the whole entire time with your boy, Bruce Wayne. Like, I was like, first off, I knew something was wrong. The moment that, you know, Bruce showed up, because I was like, nah, bro, he wouldn't do that. Like, that doesn't even make sense. And, um... It was like more and more, I was kind of like, where are they going with this? Like, I had to question everything. Like, why is Bruce Wayne acting like this? This is definitely part of his, of his imagination. But Ian Glenn, though, he, he, it's something about his performance in this one that leave me believe, like, yo, like, you got a young man stride, for real, for real. Like, when he was sitting there up there dancing and just kind of like, animated and then very serious and then very monotone and then very dark like he really could play this role very well like if we give him the opportunity i think i this episode cemented it for me that he could easily pull this off when you got the real batman i just was like why are you guys not talking to Batman? <laughs> like batman would definitely have like the technology and the know-how to do what he needs to do. He can talk to Superman. And just, I'm like, communication, bro. And then when they went and, like, got on this, like, high horse, like, cutting up against, like, Jason, like, how would Jason know about all that? How would Jason know about the bourbon? How would Jason know about the the Coca-Cola or the, the, the orange soda joint? Like, how would he know that? Why would he do that? After being, like, legit tortured and, like, thrown off, like, you guys, the two things I don't like about this episode is, one, I felt like Dove and everybody else just looked at Connor's situation like, uh, well, everybody just kind of knocked out like, well, he's okay. He just got, you know, poison lying through his body. Like, it's just like, it's like another day. And then the other thing was like, everybody ragged on Jason. I was like, are y'all serious? Like, I was like, yo, when Jason, when Jason was like, like being like threatened by Rachel and she's sitting there with red eyes and he's kind of like, his head like, he's like, yo. This shit could kill me. But you know what? Man, forget y'all, man. He like, he walked away like, with tears in his eyes. Just like, forget it. And like, that was a real, that was a real reaction. For real, for real. Because I was like, I would question things. I was like, you know what? Forget you guys, man. I'm better off a slave. Like, he brought this man to the point. He about to kill himself. Like, it was a really good. And then again, the Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson like interaction, even though this is a pseudo fictional version of Bruce Wayne and in Robin's mind and his perception of Bruce Wayne, it was still very interesting and probing and haunting and like it was so it was so good. It was it was a really good episode. <laughs> I hear so much about this episode. I was kind of, oh, and the Superboy, I mean, Superboy, not Superboy, 
the crypto the dog moment. Like, I was like, yo, can crypto fly for real for real? Because I kind of jumped. But crypto looked like he was flying low key, like for real. But, um, but yeah, another great episode. I, I want to just give it a 10 out of 10. I, I'm not going to rate this episode because I feel like. That's a cliche. Like it was just a great episode. I don't have any issues with it. Like if I compared this one to Connor episode, like it's just still great, man. Like it was such a great acted episode, great imagery, great visuals, and it was just it was a lot. It was a lot to take in. But uh, I'm all behind it. Titans, Titans hit that level where it's like this stride. Like yo, you on that doom patrol tip? Let's go. Let's freaking do it, bro. Anyway. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button, make sure you go and subscribe. Please. I think I said that twice. Go check out our Patreon though. I can't say why. Please check out your Patreon. <laughs> it's only one dollar, you can always cancel and you'll get some awesome, you know what? All right, I gotta go. Peace guys. <laughs>